vibe, ay, 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 ride with the vibe, ay, ride with the vibe, my delegation the real is the acts of the apostles, ride with the vibe, delegation the real is the acts of the apostles, I know the problem. Mount Zion, God body building up like Lou Ferrigno, the gospel that we pump and we work out everywhere we go, stop, I say to Levi, watch I go on the bench, it can't pop to the northern kingdom, tell Judah to get up with me, we on the road cruising. So smooth, I just let the top down Do everything in order, we solid it from the top down I'm standing up for the most high Against the evildoers, wicked niggas out here scoffing But somebody had to do it They just talking while we proving The gospel that we stand on We set for the defense against who handling the word wrong No, this ain't no vacation But feel the sunshine vibes It's all work and no play We throwing, look how time flies So fly, most high, fresh, purple with the gold Right now, Bill Business. I'm helping you. Help What's your name? Bill What's your name? Belzebub. Your name Belzebub. Yeah. All right, Belzebub. Well, guess what? We're helping you right now. We saving our people lives. That's right. Amen. That's what we doing. We saving our Amen. people lives. Amen. You have a Hey, 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 hey. Be quiet. Listen. How you doing, my brother? What's your name, bro? Meech. Mr. Meach, Mr. Meach, Mr. Meach, all right. So you, I see you about to say something. You had something you about to say. Yeah. Okay. You saying about slavery, right? Yeah, the Bible talking about slavery. Yes. Okay. Name me out, 300 years ago. 300, yeah. We still in slavery today. Okay. The shadow slavery. Why are we in slavery today? Because we broke God's commandments. No, we didn't no, we're in slavery today because we want to be in slavery. You know what? You can be whatever you want to be these days. Okay. You can go wherever you want to go these days. Okay. I worked in horse transplant. Yes, sir. My undergraduate was psychology. Okay. There's no reason to stand out here and say they can't do what they want to do. We're not ain't no, that. ain't no slavery. You know we're not saying that. It's not that, slavery. Man. You know why? Because the white man was slaves. The Indian was slaves. I'm Indian. The Native American. You're talking, you're talking I'm Native, Native American. American. I'm Native Choctaw. American. Yeah, you're Israelite. Right. Look, okay. let, me, let me clear something up. We're not saying that we can't be successful by getting an education. Well, don't teach them the oh, lower oh. part. What you mean? Say what? You teach them the, the lower part. You're not, you're not teaching high. Why is this? You're teaching low because you're speaking negative. Let me show you this, though. Let me show you this. If our people continue to watch I'm, I'm going to break it down like this. If our people don't know anything about their history, they're going to build on the foundation of America. Right. Hold on, history. bro. Hold on. Wait. Just listen. Just listen. The future. Just listen. You live in the past, you going to stay. Nah, brother. Nah, brother. I, you got to live Watch this, future. bro. Watch this. Just pay attention. There's no solidarity amongst our people. Right. The estate that we are in today, we are trying to thrive in white society. If that, that was a video that I was watching earlier. Scotlandville was one was Black Wall Street in Baton Rouge. Right. Scotlandville yeah, was Black, Black Wall, Wall Street. Street. Hold on, bro. Scotlandville was Black Wall Street in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. But through gentrification, through the education system, right. and through them taking away our history from ourselves, we don't build on the foundation of coming together. When yeah. we were slaves, we fought together. Right. We understood that we was all slaves. Right. But now we think we're free, so now we all think like individuals. Yes. Give me that message. Matthew chapter 12, verse 25. Bring it out! It is important, it's very important for our people to know their history. Right. Because guess what? I can you know why? Because you got a job. You got a very good job at a plant, right? Plant? You got that's what you're saying, right? I said I worked in heart transplant. Oh, you work in a you work your your service? I I it's actually hospital. Okay. So the thing is this, you're successful in that area. But your people is still at the bottom. Jeez, you have because they want to be. But there. hold on, bro. Why don't we have black colleges? Why don't we have black hospitals? Why don't we have these? We have to go to them for everything. Give me that. We're gonna read this first. That's what I want. Every kingdom divided. Yeah. You read that. Read. Hey, what, watch it. Read that. You stay in the past. No, we we are building. We are the future. That's what we are. We are establishing God's kingdom on earth. Negroes that don't want to keep God's commandments, Heaven. you will be the past. Yes. You will be history. Oh you will be deleted yeah. from existence. That's the warning Heaven. from God. We are want. teaching you your history to know how to fix what the future. The we are teaching our people the commandments of God. What, what, you, you know how you know you know that how? Huh? 
breathing a breath of life into our people. Bring it up. We teach them. We are helping them with the word of God. Get the scripture where it say the poor have the gospel preached unto them. Somebody look that up for me. Read that in Matthew 12, 25 first. Read. This is the book of Matthew chapter 12, verse 25. And Jesus knew their hearts and, and Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. If I, if I, hold on, that, that's Matthew chapter 12, verse 25. We are helping our people. Because guess what? Some of us right here, we used to sell drugs. Right. Some of us, hold on, some of us used to be, some of us used to be whoremongers. Guess what? The white man bought them here. But we continue to sell them. Right. You understand? So we have to teach our, to destroy our people. That's what it's for. It was bought here. You not listening. You just not hearing the answer you want me to give you. Read that. What, what, what he told you to get? Matthew, 11, Matthew chapter 11, verse 5. Well, first, let's finish reading this. Because I'm asking you a question. You just not hearing what you want to hear. Just be patient and I'll tell you. Read. This is the book of Matthew chapter 12, verse 25. Uh -huh. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Read. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. So as long as our people are divided into different ideologies, different religions, different nationalities, you call yourself black, or the next man call himself a Moor, or you call yourself Baptist, and they Catholic. We divided by neighborhood. We divided by city. The thing is, if we continue to be divided with these different ideologies that the white man put in our community, we will never thrive. We will never rise as a people. So get, yes, we are helping our people. Get that man to the bottom. Let me ask you, tell me well, how, how should we help? What should we do? What is your plan of action? Build a business. Build what? Okay, build a business, right? Establish Black Wall Street. Like, build. Build, right? Build a business. Okay, that's cool. What happened to Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma? What happened to Black Wall Street? Listen, the past teaches you how to move. It teaches you how to operate. We are at the bottom because of the decisions we made. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 5. The blind received their thought. The blind received their sight. And the lame walk. The lepers are clean. And the deaf hear. The dead are raised up. And the poor have the gospel preached to them. We are doing what Christ commanded us to do. The first help. You know, hold on. You know what the first thing in helping our people? They must recognize that they are sick. You say you deal with heart transplants? Yeah. Okay, you got cardiologists and things like that, right? Yeah. When you got heart problems, hold on. When you got heart problems, if you feel a pain in your chest, am I just gonna go on Google and I'm be like, hold on, what's gonna help my heart, my heart pain? That may be a temporary fix, but what I gotta do? I gotta go to the doctor. The doctor gotta tell me, okay, well you got a blockage in this artery, and if we don't do nothing to fix this blockage. You're not, you're gonna die. Your you're not hearing what I'm saying. No, you See, you know what the thing is, bro? You're just so caught up into your, your success in America that you don't see the problems going on in your community. We must heal our people. Give me that in uh, Malachi chapter two and verse seven. This is what we must do. As black men, we gotta be leaders in our community. And the way we help them is first showing them that it's a problem. When our people don't see that it's a problem, I just for basic necessities, you'll never move forward. Our people are, con speaking of business, speaking of business, why haven't you built a business that you can go and support? And you're put why are you supporting the Arabs on the Sabbath day? Why are you supporting the Arabs on the Sabbath day? God says to love your people. God says to love your people. Over there. Read, no, wait, no, hold on, wait, say that again. Say that again. Say that again. Say that again. How you gonna tell me? No, you say Arabs do something. Arabs came from where? We came from that region. We came from that region. We came from Israel. That's right. We were surrounded by the other nations. We belong all the time. Read that in Malachi 2 and 7. Look at Malachi 2 and 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Us, you black men, you are the priest of God. The scriptures say your lips should keep knowledge. Your lips should keep knowledge. So guess what, my brother? You said, hold on, hold on. You said, smarter than you. Okay, okay, that's cool. But guess what? I know how to build. I know how to build a nation. I know how to establish a righteous household. You give 
giving the uh, you giving the drug dealers uh, you come you committing the drug yes you are yes you are you committing the drug dealers read it read it this is the book of Malachi chapter two verse seven for the priest lips should keep knowledge the men of our nation should keep knowledge so you know what when your lips keep knowledge when your what are you doing to spread that knowledge it says your lips keep knowledge you must teach the people okay that's fine. So you, you 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 mean to tell me a man that is selling crack in his own community, selling cocaine in his own no? That, that's my question. A man that's selling cocaine in his community is smarter than a man that's telling his people to stop doing the drugs, to stop selling them. So you ask me, do I want to sell it in a white man's community? You ain't listen. So he prefer that drugs get sold in his own community. Read that in Malachi 27. Read. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Yes, and if you don't repent, your houses will burn and it'll be gone. And if you don't repent, and if you don't take that idol, if you don't take that, that's the problem. That's evil. That's idolatry. That's the point. Yes, it is. I can show you that right now. You know why? Because you don't have the knowledge of God. You just so worried. You just so worried about. Yes, we are from Israel. That's right. Bring it up. You were born. I said I'm from Israel. My nation is from Israel. Right. You met in her back in 2018. You so caught up in the knowledge of, of the white man, and the it's, it's man? fine for our no, people to have no, jobs. No, it's help, fine for our help, people to help, esteem help, to yes, help, but you don't know how to help, help bro. Help. I'm gonna help you right now. You can't for back in 2018. I'm gonna help you right now. I'm gonna help him now. Read. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, verse 18. What profit is the graven image that the maker thereof had graven it? What profit is that image that's around your neck? Read. The molten image, a teacher of lies. That is a teacher of lies that you have around your neck. That around your neck, that, that around your neck is a teacher of lies. Yes, it is. Because it teaches white supremacy. It teaches Christianity. That's the menorah. That, what? Okay, if Jesus died by the hold on, if Jesus died by the way of of a, of a uh, electric chair, would you put an electric chair around your neck? If Christ died by AK-47, just like everybody else, would you put that around your neck? It's a teacher of what? A teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusted therein. That's a teacher of lies. Go to all Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. What profit, what profit that grave it is? Because you holding on to that thing like that just that just means you hold it. What 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 power will that what what power does that have? What power does that have? Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 8. Read it. Okay. I'll take this motherfucker off if he would. What is the reason you have to lie your I've been sold for three months. We're gonna get there. Why do you have it around your neck? You can have it if he wouldn't pay attention. Okay, so so you ran across, right? Let me ask you this question. He to the hey, let, 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 let's have a dialogue. Let's have a dialogue. Nah, nah, let, let's have a dialogue. Nah, let's have a dialogue. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, you have a cross around your neck, right? Why are you wearing that cross? Amen. For Christ. For Christ. Okay. So watch this. Here. You love Christ? We got thousands of people out here. We you love Christ? Here, I'm asking you a question, bro. brother. You can have it. Do you love Christ? Can you, you can have it. He can't answer a simple question. I love Christ. I you love, love Christ. Head, Go to John 14 and 15. Hold that around this one on here. If you love Christ, we're going to find out. I'm having a dialogue with you. You want to come and address? We can speak. You know what I'm going to do? John 14 and 15. Read. This is the book of John. What are y'all talking about? the problem. The black men is only, only, only about feeling good. That's it. All we want to do is drink. All we want to do is smoke. We want to feel good. But we don't care about the problems going on in our community. This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Christ said, if you love him, keep his commandments. Christ said, you ain't listening to the Bible. No, you evil. Idolatry is evil. Idolatry is evil. That's the problem with the Christian church. That thing got our people in it. If you went across to protect Amen. If you, you wait, give me 
that number's 1530 and you oh, want to cross, let's see if you're going to wear this. If you love Christ, let's see if you're going to wear this. Read. You should throw it away. Because that's idolatry. Read. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their bones. What did it say you must do? Make them fringes in the border of their bones. The Lord said you must put fringes in the borders of your garments. That's what's wrong with the men. That's what's wrong with the men in our community, bro. You don't have the mentality. You, you got a man's body, bro, but you ain't serious like with the conditions of your people. You're not right. serious like a man. I right. save lives. What you do? We saving our people lives. That's right. Amen. That's what we doing. We That's saving Amen. our people lives. You sick. Our people are sick. Read. Following the doctrine of the people that put our That's people right. in slavery, right? right. And you following that wholeheartedly. Right. But we reading out the scriptures that you shouldn't have. Right. We right. that you shouldn't have that on your neck, and you don't care. Read that in the spirit that you got on you. That's right. You right. Bring it out. No. Teach. Read. You have Speak to unto the children of Israel. Listen to this, bro. Your child of Israel, read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garments. So if you love Christ, why don't you have fringes on your garment? Right. That's what we wear. Why, what? Fringes in the borders of your garment. Why are you not wearing that? Read it again. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garments. Read. Throughout their generation. Read up. And that they put up on the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. You're supposed to have a fringe with a ribbon of blue around your oh, yeah. shirt. Bro. That's right. I want to see you with that every day. I wear this every day. Right, right. I got it on my undershirt. That's right. I wear it all the time, bro. Right. That's right. the commandment of God. You right. You're not going to catch me without it on. Right. right. Bring it out. The thing is this. Why don't you put it on? See, you point the finger. We show you a commandment of God. You love Christ. I'm helping you right now. I'm helping you right now. Feel business. I'm helping you. What's your name? What's your name? Belzebub. Your name Belzebub? Yeah. All right, Belzebub. Well, guess what? We're helping you right now. You better in Luke 13 and 3. All people don't care. Oh, God, seriously. All right. Hey, Let me show hey, you what's going to happen. I, I, hey, I respect Hey, hey. You ain't gonna say I can't name? because you ain't listening to the word of God. You right. ain't taking the word of God serious. You my brother. You my brother. I ain't but you, brother. You, ain't, you ain't taking ain't heed to the word. All right, then. Well, we ain't got to shake hands. Well, we ain't got to shake hands. You gonna repent. We ain't gonna repent. We gonna see. see. You gonna repent. That's good. I, I wanna show you something. I wanna show you something. You wanna talk about it? This is the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 3. You can read it. No, I don't commit fornication. No, I don't. So you mad? No, I'm not. Do you have sex? Nope. You a goddamn liar. You ain't no who. Read. This is the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 3. Read it. I tell you, Nate. What? Except you repent. Except our people repent. Read. You shall all likewise perish. If you don't take that cross from around your neck, you're going to perish. That's if right. you don't put fringes in the border of your garment, you're going to perish. Right. If you don't start taking the word of God seriously, you're going to perish. Right. That's Christ's warning to you. Read that. Yeah. This is the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 3. I'll tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. You don't even know what it means to repent, brother. That's why we out here teaching. What does it mean to repent? I'm asking you, what does it mean to repent? All your sins that don't redo them. I said, what does it mean to repent? What's I sin? just told you. Oh, yeah, okay, what's sin? What what's sin? sin when you got there? You got two sins. No, you no, got an unknowing sin, no, you got a knowing no, sin. sin. Tell me what sin is. You got an unknowing definition. sin, you got a sin. Okay, you got presumptuous you got sins, and you got sins that you do in ignorance. Then you got That's, but the thing is, help me understand what sin is by definition. And see, if you were so religious, what you would have shook my hand. What is sin by definition? Everything we doing is scriptural. Right. What you got? Oh, uh, yeah, read. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Hey, by the way, it's sin for you to go in that store and buy. That's right. That's, That's a sin. Teach, hey, teach. That's something you need to repent from. Hey. You want to build businesses, but look what you're doing. Right. You're destroying your second community. Second right. You're helping, you helping the other nation succeed. Right. What did it say? Yeah. So, what, uh, second John 1 and 10. Is that what I want? Oh, yeah, Second John 1 and 10. Well, let's read First John 3 and 4 first. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin, transgressing also the law. When you sin, that means you're breaking the laws of God. Read. 
Show me where that's at. Show me where that's at. Show me where that's at. Hey man, if you can't show me scriptures, read it again. This is the book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. Who, we can show you who our brother is, read. Whosoever committed sin, transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Go to Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18. I'm going to show you who your brother is. I'm going to show you what the Bible says. We go to the Old Testament, we go to the New Testament. We go wherever. We don't want the scriptures. Read that. I'm going to show you something. Okay. So if Christ only came for one people, go sit, go if Christ only came for one people, would he be racist? I go by that black if Christ only came for one right people, would he be racist? Can you ask my when question? Here if Christ, see, store, read, read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Freedom? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. So the context is your brother. He's talking about your brother. We can show you that Christ only came for one people. You don't, right. you don't have the sense to just calm down. Right. We'll show you, bro. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So what we showing you right now is love by letting you know that you going by is a sin. And that's showing hatred towards God. That's one of them presumptuous sins you were just speaking about. Read. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Also it says, don't avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of your people, right? Read. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Your neighbor is your people. That's, that's who your neighbor is. That's what the Bible says. Now the brother said we racist because we only coming to teach our people. Teach. Give me that Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. And we're going to read it again when he come outside. He probably going to tell. Read. This is the book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sick, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And you heard that my brother? Read that again. This is the book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not Hey, Mr. Belzebub, watch this. Watch this. Listen to this, Mr. Belzebub. Read. Verse 24. Who the answer is saying, I am not sick, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said he only came for the Israelites. That's right. You heard what Jesus said? Jesus only cared about his people, man. That's right. Christ came to save the Israelites. I don't tell the motherfucker I ain't going to take that hey, out. Hey, we don't harm nobody. nobody. I'm not going to give them a hard time. That's your job. Tell you not to do your job. Okay. Your job is to stay. Don't buy. My job is to teach my people place. the commandments of God. Brothers, you know what, brother? You you contradicting yourself. Right. Because you when you ask me, what am I doing for the community? I ask you, what's your solution? And you said, build a business. Right. Build a business. Right. Build a business. Right. I ask you, what's your solution? And you said, build a business. Build a black business. But you are opposed to me. Uh, what's the word? Helping out the Arab business. Right. How am I going to help the black businesses if I'm supporting other nations? Right. You are walking contradiction, bro. Right. Read. This, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sick, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ only came for his people. So go to 2 John 1 and 10. 2 John, that's it? Verse 10? Yeah. All right. And I want that one to talk about the men of this generation. It seems like we got to bring this out all the time, huh? Read. And that's the problem. The older men have failed us. The older men have failed our people. That's, that's why I take young, young men like myself to come out here and teach that we must keep the commandments. Because they're not gonna do it. They they cool. They cool with the money they make. Right. They cool with the car they drive. Right. Read. This is the book of Second John, verse ten. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, then they don't come with the doctrine, the true gospel that this word is given to the Israelites, and we must repent. Read. Receive him not unto your house. Neither bid him God speak. So we're not shaking your hand. If you don't take this word of God and repent, we ain't shaking your hand. That's right. Read on. They got more. Read, yeah, read. For he that bid him, Godspeed. If I want to shake your hand and bid you farewell after you done rejected the word, what happened? This partaker of his evil deeds. And that ain't about to happen with us. That's right. That ain't about to happen with us. What's that one I want to lose? 
Luke 7? Luke 7 and 5? 7 32, okay. Luke chapter 7, verse 32. Okay, let's go up one. Luke 7 and 31. That's what's wrong with the black community. So my sister, you are there listening. Check out Israel United in Christ. Go to that on YouTube. Share that information. Our people need it. We are the men out here to redeem, to show our people that Christ came to redeem us. We here to fix our community. You need to stop smoking, sis. That's right. That's a sin. That's a sin. It's a sin. No, you're not. How are you delivered? I'm looking at you. You're still at the bottom of society. I thought you just said you was delivered. Read that. This is the book of Luke, chapter 7, verse 31. And the Lord said, Where to then shall I liken the men of this generation? What's, what's, what's going on with the black man today? Read. And to what are they like? What are the black men like? Read. They are like unto children uh -huh. sitting in a marketplace uh -huh. and calling one to another. The black men in Baton Rouge, you owe the black men, you are like children. Right. They don't take the conditions of their people serious. Yes, you love the world. Because I what it got. Read on. Well, we're going to go to another. Go to 1 Corinthians 3.16. Can okay. somebody find that scripture for me? I want the one I just, just quoted. The Lord, you need anybody. Get off, folks. You're going to be on the road too bad, Read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Yeah, know ye not out. that ye are the temple of God. You are the temple of God, sister. That's what your body was created for. Mm -hmm. The temple of God, so you can worship God in your flesh. Right. Read. And, and, and make sacrifices Ooh. within. By stop keeping, stop breaking the commandments. Read. Maybe. And that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, if you defile your temple by smoking, getting drunk, doing drugs, read, him shall God destroy. God said he will destroy you if you defile your temple. Right. So by you smoking, you're defiling your temple. You def well, it says not even your temple. That's the temple of God. You're defiling the temple of God by smoking. So read it from the top again. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Your body belongs to God. It doesn't belong to you. Read. And that the Spirit of God dwells in you. If any man defile the temple of God, you defile your body by smoking. Read. Him shall God destroy. God will destroy you. So you have not escaped the world. Read. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple ye are? The temple of God is holy. You're supposed to keep your body holy, sister. Did you hear that? Okay, do you know, like, okay. The, be the beginning of It's the fear of the Lord. Okay. Right. He destroyed. That part of me is destroyed. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're still doing it. Right. How is it destroyed if you're still I, doing it? I know what I'm doing. No, sis. That's the confusion of Christianity. They don't teach that you have to do something. Give me that in uh, James chapter 2, verse 17. Or James 2 and 14. I don't go by what nobody teach me. Well, where you learn that from? Learn what? What you talking about? The Holy Spirit. Nah, that ain't the Holy Spirit. Right. Right. The Holy Spirit gonna teach you to keep the commandments. Right. Right. Read that. But ain't nobody perfect. 2 and 14. This is the book of James, chapter 2, verse 14. What do it profit? My brother, thou, though a man say he had faith and have not works. So you say you deliver the things like that, but you don't have works. Yes, I do, because I do. No, you don't. I'm go up to him and do something I do. You know, no. Yes, we talk about works according to the Bible, sis. Right. What do you mean? We talk about the works. I move out of here. Nuh-uh. What's the works you must do? No, no, no. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. What are the works that you are commanded to do? Go to, uh, ex, hold that, go to Exodus chapter 18, verse 20. I know. Hold on, sis. What are the works that you must do? Do y'all know that this is an appointed time right now? Huh? That's what I want to talk No, I want to deal with you. I want to deal with you right now. I want to deal with you. He's dealing with me. He's the only one that can deal with me. Mm -hmm. No, he, he sent us to teach you. And he sent me to teach y'all. No, you can't teach us. Because you ain't keeping the commandments. You're not wearing a dress. Right. You're not even supposed to be teaching me. No, he doesn't change. Give me that Malachi 3 and 6. Go to Malachi 3 and 6. Watch this. Go to Malachi 3 and 6. Read that. 
This is the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. God doesn't change. That's in the Old Testament, too. That's right. So the God he was back then, he not changing. There's no such thing as a New Testament God. There's no such thing as that. Read it again. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Uh -huh. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So that same God that flooded the earth in the time of Noah, ah. that same God that rained down fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah, ah. that's the same God today. Yeah. And he reserved this earth, he reserved this current thing that we live in now for destruction that he promised yeah. in the Old Testament. Ah. When you read Isaiah chapter 66, he reserved this world for that fight. That's right. So he did not change. Right. So if you don't repent and stop smoking, bro, sis, you're going to die. Yes. Judgment going to come to you. Now I'm going to show you the works that you must do. Go to Exodus chapter 18, verse 20. Bring this is up. the book of Exodus chapter 18, verse 20. And thou shalt teach them ordinance and laws and shall show them the way wherein they must walk and the work that they must do. The laws is the things that you must follow. That's the things that you have to do. That's the works. Read it again. Read it again. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 18, verse 20. And thou shalt teach them the ordinance. It say, thou shalt teach them ordinances. Read. And law. And what? And law. And laws. Read. And shall, and shall show them the way wherein they must walk. And the work they must do. So we are here to teach you the laws. The works that you're supposed to have in James chapter 2 is you keeping the law, sis. So you must stop wearing pants. You must, what are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about, huh? You're not doing what God's telling you to do. No, you're not. God told you to wear a dress. God told you to stop smoking. God told you to repent. That's what he told you to do. God told you that you shouldn't teach men or try to usurp authority over the man. Give me that 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. That's something that's not taught. That's what something that's not taught. Our sisters think that they can teach men. No. We the men. We the leaders. We here to teach you that you got to get yourself together. Read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So you black men, your head is Christ. Your leader is Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the who? Of the woman is the man. What's your name, sis? Huh? What's your name? Well, you two, you, you got a flyer, sis. You got a flyer? You got a flyer. All right, check that flyer. You got time. Listen, when you right here, what's your name? Me? Yeah, what's your name? Sarah, okay, sir. Our people got jokes today. Read that again, 11 to 3. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, uh -huh. and the head of the woman is the man, Read. and the head of Christ is God. The head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. That's the order in the black community. God, Christ, man, and the woman. The black woman need to humble down. You need to humble down to the word of God, sis, but you're not. Because you wrapped up in the ways of America. Give it in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Huh? I don't understand what you're saying. You backslid. Well, we're here to help you get back on point. We're here to help you get back on point. But you're not listening, though. Well, when you going to do it? When you going to throw the cigarettes away? Right. Read that. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The scriptures say the love of the Father is not in you if you love the world, sis. If you continue to smoke, if you continue to wear pants, you love the world and not God. He used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. 
We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.